Good luck! Crazy bastard. Let's go try and find them. And we're live. Welcome back to part 81 of the full game commentary and playthrough. Arthur has something light for you today and wants to help some fools in love. And let's be honest, we've all been there. If you are new to this channel, greetings! I'm your friendly neighbor Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Back in Valentine, there is a disturbance we need to investigate. What's all this hollering about? My friend! You there! This side mission is available after Chapter 4, and here we are in Chapter 6, avoiding responsibility and killing time. Hopefully, not literally. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Milksop, to quote Google, is a person who is indecisive and lacks courage. The name Milksop is thought to derive from the Middle English word Milksop, which was a piece of bread soaked in milk. As a name, it may have evolved from a nickname for a spiritless man. It has also been suggested that it may have been an occupational name for a farmer who dealt with milk products. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head. Shoot a bottle off my head. Sure, why not? How many times do you hear that? Like William Tell! This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron! <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Uh, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> the names are interesting. That is, if you are interested in classical references. Protus, Acrisius, and Helen. Protus is in blue, Acrisius is in yellow. Protus, or Proetus, or Proteus, I found many variations of this name, was a Grecian king of Argos and Tyrans, son of Abbas, and a twin brother of Acrisius, to quote Wikipedia. Protus and Acrisius quarreled continually, ever since they were in the womb, and they carried on with the rivalry well into their adult years, inventing shields or bucklers in the process. Protus started out as king of Argos and held the throne for about 17 years, but Acrisius defeated him in war and exiled him. And then of course we have Helen, the face that launched a thousand ships. In Greek mythology, Helen of Troy, also known as Beautiful Helen, Helen of Argos, or Helen of Sparta, was said to have been the most beautiful woman in the world. She was believed to have been the daughter of Zeus and Leda, and was the sister of Clytemnestra, Castor and Pollux, Philono, Phoebe, and Timandra. She was married to King Menelaus of Sparta, who became by her the father of Hermione, and, according to others, of Nicostratus. The usual tradition is that after the goddess Aphrodite promised her to Paris in the judgment of Paris, she was seduced by him and carried off to Troy. This resulted in the Trojan War when the Achaeans set out to reclaim her. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. Okay, let's help these jokers prove their bravery or something. Arthur is always happy to help. 
Okay. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. I am amazed that we can do this without catching a witness or Sheriff Malloy coming over to tell us to knock it off. I mean, we are right next to the sheriffs. Ready? <laughs> you got mine! And I barely even... Good shot! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please! What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Okay, boys are so silly. Please, put us out of our misery. Now is as good as nothing to fear at all. Come on. Yes. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. Ready? You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least... Excellent. Fine shooting. Over here, sir. And Acrisius won't stop wiggling. Time to break out some dead eye. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Uh, I don't blame. Helen, for her part, seems overwhelmed with how events have escalated, but also seems as if she's enjoying all of the attention. Damn you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Mm. Ah, too much. No, nope, my sweet. And we get a buck 75 for our troubles, which just about covers the ammo. But it's not about the money. It's never about the money. Moving on to the next day, the boys are back at it, this time behind the saloon. Even closer to the sheriffs. Well, hey, pardon me. Now. now, you see, Helen, Acre here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if you need to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. He was always a sick... You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Okay, are we gonna do this? If there's one thing Arthur loves more than shooting time, it's an old-fashioned dust-up. Let's do this. First on the agenda, chins. <laughs> <laughs> you really walloped him! Right, yikes! 
I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not God. like that toe rag. God, Lord above! Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit me again! Raise me! Right here. Second, core strength. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! Here I stand! <laughs> I think he's done for! Barely even felt it! <laughs> well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? And third. Well, a feeling you will never forget. If you play a contact sport or practice martial arts. <laughs> They've come out his ears! <laughs> My turn! <sighs> come on, right there! Also note the Foley effects, or the sound of this poor Joker getting kicked in the family jewels. Let's hear that again. <laughs> Enough, gentlemen? Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen... <laughs> Good luck to you. Madam, gentlemen, I guess that says about everything. Arthur is confused but indulgent. Perhaps he is thinking about Mary or Sally Nash. Hopefully he cannot wait to tell Charlotte Balfour all about these crazy kids he met in Valentine. Whatever got into your heads? Finally, we need to ride to Cumberland Falls, east of Wallace Station. And the map. If this location looks familiar, it's because Arthur broke a wagon wheel here at the end of Chapter 1. And what are these two jokers up to today? A nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. Arthur is uncertain exactly what they are trying to prove here. However, love is not rational. You see, you two haven't changed much. No. He's still a lizard, coward, gerbil, mommy's boy, Manatee. effluent discharge, milk sop. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. Barrel riding was a popular stunt in the 19th century, to quote Wikipedia, most famously at Niagara Falls. Since 1850, more than 5,000 people have gone over Niagara Falls, either intentionally, as stunts or redacted for the algorithm, or accidentally. The first recorded person to survive going over the falls was school teacher Annie Edson Taylor, who, in 1901, successfully completed the stunt inside of an oak barrel.
In the following 120 years, thousands of people have been swept over the falls, but only 16 people have reportedly survived the feat. All instances of people having survived the trip over the falls have been over the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. Following the death of one daredevil in 1951, stunting at Niagara Falls has been illegal and subject to fines of up to 25,000 US dollars. Other than this event, there are two additional references to barrel riding in this game. The first is at Bacchus Bridge. Arthur will inspect and write. Horseshoe Overlook found the remains of some poor bastard woman, tried to go over a waterfall in a barrel, found it interesting, sad I guess, an even more ridiculous life than the one I lead. And the map. We are between Donner Falls and Bacchus Station. Let's call her the Bacchus Bridge Barrel Rider because I like the alliteration. The second reference is at Emerald Station. I have never seen anything like this before. There's a poster over here. Desiree Laflamme, the woman without fear. Over Donner Falls, the world famous Desiree Laflamme risking life and limb over the terrifying Donner Falls in a barrel. Quite a handsome woman with an eye for marketing. And back to Helen and the boys. First, Helen, I love you. And brother, you're... Also note how Arthur is using his cattleman as a hammer. You see that in a lot of westerns. It looks really cool. Don't do that. There are plenty of rocks. Living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Okay, here we go. Good luck! Crazy bastard. Helen seems oddly calm at this moment. However, in her defense, boys have probably been acting crazy around her her whole life. This is normal in Helen's world. Let's go try and find them. We must at once. Uh, okay, get on your horse. Follow me. Let's get down there and see if they are okay. Can't get there from this first path. Do you think they're all right? They might be. You want them to be all right? Of course. Whatever do you mean? I was just thinking. It might be easier for you if only one of them was... Catch my meaning? Sir, that is a terrible thing to say. You got a favorite? I like them both. Equally. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. You can't Here you down. are. Now? Acrisius, what have you done? And it looks as if that barrel ride has knocked some sense into those two. <laughs> Brother, are you there? Acri! <gasps> Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You're an earthshaker! World! 
conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, but, Good but, lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The west awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you've picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without mm, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. This seems like the first time Arthur has spoken directly to Helen. He's always been distracted by those twins. So long. <sighs> oh, I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew. With positively the least sense. <laughs> Yes, usually the way it works. Good luck. Also note how Helen doesn't waste any of her charms on Arthur. He's probably too old for her. Oh well, the only thing worse than a young fool is an old fool. Protus, Acrisius, and Helen will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description, along with links to the merch store, my second channel, and our Discord. Also consider joining Team Super Antonio and supporting this channel with a channel membership for end credits in every video. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel where we are currently doing a first playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Hey, I think it worked. Like and subscribe for my first impression commentary and reactions as we explore this open medieval world, fight monsters, and ride around on a horse named Roach. So long. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We have all been in that barrel at some point, or waiting on the shore, watching. Helen will be fine. She is off to commiserate with her best friend, Anastasia, from the Valentine Saloon. I wonder if they know Lily May. Protus and Acrisius will hopefully work on their careers, perhaps open a business together, start a fitness regime, and get some hours in on the shooting range. Instead of looking outwards at another person for completion, complete yourself. Be the person you want to attract, and trust love to find a way. I'll see you in part 82. Good luck, crazy bastard. Super Antonio, thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Never. <laughs> Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that.